okay. Did I or did I not find the coffee machine? Check it out. I found it. It's a bigger Keurig, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna work and I'm gonna have real coffee tomorrow, yay! <coughs> um, and honestly, it was not that hidden. I, I, but part of untreated, uncorrectly medicated ADHD is an impulsivity and almost impossibility of slowing down unless you're like down. It's almost like, you know, um, when you learn how to drive stick, first gear, second gear, third gear, all appropriate, but all done at certain times, right? You don't go from zero to the fourth gear, right? Unless you want to hurt your car. And that's somehow what's going on with the ADHD brain or, but anyway, I don't know how I managed to do what I've done today, but I did, but I can only tell you it hurts my brain. I'm so, so, so sick of it, y'all, I really am. Um, I'm in the middle of weed whacking the grass and the battery ran out and y'all, that's fine. I'm not on a deadline. Should I have plugged it in earlier? Mm -hmm. Probably. I would have under normal circumstances, y'all, but I didn't. I don't know if you can hear me, <coughs> but so let's, let's go through my day. I should have like what I want to do versus what gets done. But you know what? I called my insurance, my um, care mark, you know, that does my prescriptions. Talked to a very nice person. It was literally no big deal to get real Adderall. She could not tell whether or not my doctor had called in, but there was no prescription for Adderall. So I called that office and told this assistant, I was like, what's your name? And that this is exactly what needs to be done and please have her call me when it's done. And this doctor had the nerve to be like, oh, you're getting blah, blah. Like lady, last I talked to you a week ago, you were going to go ahead and send it in and let me know when you did it and uh, crickets. So I will go tomorrow online. The woman told me to go set up my account. She thinks I have an account, but y'all, that's going to be a new password and this and that. So that's fine. That will be my only goal besides work tomorrow is to get into that and then I can monitor it. Um, they're going to mail it. That is... You don't even need a signature. I, I don't understand what's going on. Like you have to show your ID, but then this, and anyway, I don't know. I'm just, I just can't get excited until it's in my body. My sister-in-law gave me seven of hers. It's a generic, it's 25. It's better than the, whatever the hell I've been taking. But I have four more of hers and seven of the other ones. So, yep. And I went to CVS to get my other drugs, which now are all going to be mail-in. Yep. If I never have to go to that CVS, I'm telling you, this woman, girl, I don't know how, 20s, maybe early 30s, they don't even say when you're using the drive through hey, uh, welcome to CVS. How can I help you? It's what's your date of birth? What? Hello? What? I mean, you have such a terrible company that... The people working for you cannot acknowledge a customer. Dudes, I give such, I give like 180,000% customer service. So I, I don't know. We must be at the library just rocking it out because I'm not saying everyone's like me, but you can't acknowledge a customer. When I get my ADHD medicine, I'm calling whoever the hell's in charge of CVS. And if I never have to go there again and I'm going to call... When I get my medicines, I'm going to call and see if I can talk to a pharmacist on the phone or whatever through them there. Because I want to have a good relationship with a pharmacist. This is this last year has been, you know, because the person who I had a relationship with left. So, um, and I can understand now why she was young. And But so this is the state of the world, but I'll have it mailed in. I used to have it all mailed in before. Now, I'm pretty much up to date once I get my Adderall for 90 days. So, 
The goal is a new doctor. Um, my got my brother's name of his doctor who he likes and you know, number one is they have to draw blood in the office because y'all, number one, I couldn't stand doing it before. And with COVID in these little rooms, hot, people thinking they're sick, nah, nah. So that's number one, they have to draw blood. But I'm gonna interview, I am. Like when I have an ENT appointment, I couldn't get till November because I want my doctor. I'm gonna talk to him. I want somebody who's good with brains and with the aging person. <laughs> I don't think I technically qualify, but I do. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna shop. I'm gonna find the right doctor. And be prepared that it won't last forever, y'all. But I've been with this doctor a long time. And the girl of the day is one of the good ones. And I said, what's happening? I don't know what to tell you. I said, I've been here a long time and I'm going to have to change doctors. This has been such a fiasco. And I said, you know, first do no harm. I said, you, you're not. I said, I'm sorry. I know you have to hear this. And I hear it at my job. But really, I have a few. I would look for another job because this place is going down the tubes, really. Don't give a crap. She does, the woman, the girl I was talking to. There's a couple, but anyway, enough of that. We're moving on. Um, one of my friends, Sister Connie, retired nun, just texted me. So, I can't exhale yet. But, you know, and if I feel like 90 days later, then I'm going to call and talk to that pharmacist and say, here's what's happening. I want Adderall. I want real Adderall again. So... I am partly terrified that my brain is damaged and it's not going to work. And I know that's not realistic. Um, is there a percentage that that could happen? I guess. Anything's possible. But what I'm going to do <coughs> between now and then is just have 20 minute goals and try to start digging myself out. I can't explain it. I start something. I literally can't go back to it. Can't put it away. I feel like stand on my head to do it. And it causes me such anxiety or I literally don't see it. I remember my mom once said to me, she could be laying dead in front of the door and I would just step over her to get to work. And she's probably right. But she didn't, you know, try to tell her I had ADHD, but she did not ever accept it really. But that's huge. That's right there. Is it, you know, I've been deep diving it online. So we'll see. But I'm weed whacking my yard. And um, I'm, I'm probably a half done, maybe. Um, and maybe do some weeding before winter. I don't, I really don't know. I don't really feel like it. So my house needs to be weeded. Um, I did in my garage. I think I fast forward it and I'll show you. But I had brought stuff outside and um, <coughs> from inside. And I want to organize it Christmas, Easter, Valentine's. And I have boxes. Once it does, Christmas is different. <clears throat> but but I think I'm going to forgo any major Halloween this year. I mean, I'm going to put out my pumpkin and something on my front door and that kind of thing. But it's just too much. It's too much to bring anything into my house to unpack it right now. But hopefully, you know, we'll get out there and go through stuff so I can see what I have. And I really haven't bought anything. Um... Well, there's some jewelry, but nothing from my house. So, and I got to get my hose and wipe everything off um, before I undo my hose. So I got to probably do that Monday. Monday. So, right now I'm going to leave my car outside. I want to sweep my garage in the morning. It just, it won't be a lot. Um, and there's a stain. I want to clean up my stain. But yeah, so anyway, that's what's going on, y'all. It is, I talk to y'all in my head all the time. It's just that. And thank God I'm crazy about art right now, but it's also everywhere. And like, I, I, I have these things are called signatures. You put them together to make a book. And I had made one, I was gonna make two. I put them together, I was gonna sew them at work. Between, <laughs> they've disappeared out of my bag. I, I looked in my car, it's not there. I looked on my desk at work, not there. I mean, I looked, look, look. So I thought, well, I'm gonna to have to make new ones. I cannot freak out about this. And when I find them, they have to be somewhere. Um, I'm gonna go through my, I'm gonna put my recycling that I use in the house, you know, from my bits and bobs. 
go through that. Make sure I didn't stick it in there because that's part of dyslexia. You go left when you mean to go right. But anyway, y'all, I'm tired of talking about my issues. I'm tired of it. So now it's a plan is to dig out. <clears throat> the other thing I have to do <clears throat> is call cable. That's Monday. Called them once. My bill was just the same and no discount, no dropping a cable, no money back that I should be owed. So I'm going to gird my loins for Monday and do that. And then I need to make a mammogram appointment. We're going to see if I can find my referral. If not, I will call that office and have them mail me one because I want to get that done. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I have a couple of art DVDs I need to watch to return to the library. So I'm going to do that tonight. And um, my room is still kind of a mess. I pushed everything over so I can't step on it. But yeah, but I'm gonna have so much in my nightstand, right? I think I'm gonna throw everything in a box. This is a Peter Walsh and, or bag, more than likely a bag, and then take it out as I need it. So, um, yeah. Yep, it's beautiful today. And um, first water, y'all been drinking my water. I got a, tonight I'm making my chicken and dumplings because it doesn't take much, you know, my rotisserie chicken and the chicken stock. And I have a cream of portobello mushroom um, box soup from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna use that and the chicken one. I got, y'all forgive me, I already got cut up <clears throat> carrots. I got the Bisquick. So that is what I'm going to do tonight. And then um, I want to make cold foam brew in the morning. Because I got a big, I went and got a Starbucks and I got a big one. So I drank part of it. So then tomorrow I can try to make it. And it says it lasts a week, y'all. So we'll see. Um, we'll see about that. But I want to do a little more tidying up back here. Not a lot, you know. Um... I think this thing behind me, not to the, I don't know how y'all are gonna see it, but the one here is a weed. The other one's a butterfly bush, and then the other one's a weed. So I might hack them down, not today. But yeah, that's it. I'm trying to think if I have anything to return right now. I, I do. Walmart, I got this um, hot mop. I haven't opened it, I may return it, I'm not sure. But I got cleaner for it. It doesn't need it. So that seems weird to me. But anyway, um, those have to be returned. And I'm going to try to go to Walmart on Monday. We'll see because I get tired. After two days of work, I was tired, y'all, this morning. So I just shifted my time frame. Instead of being out at CVS at 9, I was out at 12. So because I decided to call the insurance first. Yep. And um, what else is going on? <coughs> unfortunately, my laundry is washed, but it's unfortunately, but downstairs. So I got to bring just some stuff like this. I need to, I really want to try before I get my Adderall to get some of the fires going right now put out, right? So I can hit the ground running. <sighs> Honestly, I feel bad for people who, one, maybe not know that their brain's not functioning or accept it i don't know or maybe medicine doesn't help them i mean putting other things into place you know shouldn't just be medicine but you know medicine is hugely important to me it's like i have all these tools for adhd that you learned you don't even know you're learning them you just do them and then when my brain's not working it won't let me it's like you know it's like it, the arrow lets me pause and have a minute to reach for those tools or to think something through Without it, it's just like, whatever I think, I'm gone, gone, do this. Oh, yeah, I was doing that. No, I'm here. Uh, honestly, it's it's true. And I know people kind of think, well, just do it. Do, why, why did you do that? Well, it, it's not truly a choice. It's not. And I know people think it is. And that part, I think, has freaked me out a little bit. So I'd rather think it's a choice than not a choice. Like, I don't have control over it. But there's a certain part I really don't have control over it. I have the control on how I treat myself and am I fighting kind to myself if I do something that I just cannot believe I did that I have control over. That's about it. You know, you can't really control your thoughts. They come up, right? They come up. 
and then but what do you do with them right that's where i can um that's where i can i have choices but with the adhd brain running the show or not you know it doesn't allow me to make it doesn't want to make choices it just wants to keep moving and whirling and just like little water spout things but i have accomplished a lot i just i'm just cannot wait for my focus you guys i cannot wait to be focused i really can't what a what a maybe all this was to help me understand i don't know i really don't but I had actually put on about eight pounds. <clears throat> when I took Vyvanse, that set some kind of terrible hunger off in me. And that's another ADHD medicine, which, yeah, did not work for me. But that set me off. I got it turned around, which is a miracle, honestly. So I'm back to kind of where the weight I was before all this started. So, and I'm, you know, working on my fiber. And um, I'm eating my uh, cheese seeds. This last point I made wasn't that great. Y'all, send me, but y'all, I, I gotta go back and read my comments. I can honestly tell you I haven't just because it's just been a nightmare. Um, well, I think about it when I can't. So, what time is it, you guys? Um, it is four, almost five. So, when we're done, now, where my my coffee pot was is just like coffee station coffee dying station tea dying station so i might have to say let me take a break from all of that for a minute because i got plenty but that was like a compulsion but a healthier compulsion so let me maybe i'll pack that all into a bag get my beautiful i'll get this going and um I can always come back to that. And plus with um, the weather, it's not drying as quickly. So, and I have a project I'm gonna work on, but I don't wanna tell you about it until I've done it. <coughs> Which is Herculean, but I got step one done out of seven steps. But yeah, but I hope y'all are doing well. And I know some of you, um, you know, have family members with ADHD. And um, I think Donna, was it you that, was it Patty said, you know, their son has it and they can't eat. You know, for me in the beginning, the very beginning, I, I mean, we're talking 20 years ago, I could not drink coffee. And I, I went through that phase where I couldn't eat, but my body and most people, get used to it and that doesn't really um kind of goes away so because I didn't like that feeling and now when I take it I can feel see like the medicine I took today I didn't get that feeling so some components missing but um and the one I'm taking because when you when I take it partly I get I, I, it's like weird it's like an anxiety stomach if that makes sense but I know it's the medicine I know it's not me so I don't stress out about it. I just know that's it. And actually now I know that means it's working. So that's good. Um, but that just dissipates. I don't think about it. After I, I once feel it, acknowledge it, then I don't really think about it. Um, but yeah. So that's what's happening. But I can't wait to show you some of my art. And I'm kind of... I have my... Um, I have my, um, oh, this thing's heavy. I have my art studio. Um, I was like a third done, maybe. Um, but I didn't want to bring anything more to the garage, so I deal with this. I need one more day in there. I need, I have a bunch of fabric. <clears throat> I want to sort it out and let some go and find what I really like and love and keep. And, um, you know, I think one day when I get that done, then I can bring more stuff out. I'm, I'm keep going through the books, keep going through the books. It's an on and off thing, but a lot of, I just recycle and I've been giving them to people who I think will want them and then I donate them. So I've been doing that. It's a lot. And there's still a lot I'm keeping for now. You know, I'm going to have to go through it again. Um, because I have a lot in my studio already. So 
yeah, it's going to have to be special to come in my house. Unfortunately, most of my stuff's special. Oh, you guys. So, I have a grocery haul to do, and um, I still have Trader Joe's, Pumpkin Palooza. Obviously, I couldn't do, I want to do a day of some Halloween item and a food. But that's a good thought, and next year, hopefully for me, will come, and I can do it. Um, I do want to do the 25 Days of Christmas vlog. Mark and Sue were going to Israel, but they made it to London, so they're hanging out there this week. So when they come back, we'll make a date and some stuff, you know, I'm, um, like I have a yogurt I'm going to eat. Um, uh, there's a couple things I need to eat up, so do that. And I just tried the, um, Trader Joe's green chili pupusa. Is that what it is? I'm not sure about them. Um, I did them in the oven, not the oven. I fr fried them. It just seemed, I don't know, there's chicken in there, I think. But I, I'm, you know, actually I have two packs of it, so I'm going <coughs> to Google it and see how people are cooking it. <coughs> Maybe there's a better job of it. And then I meant to get some red salsa for it, um, a little sour cream. But, yeah, I have that to eat. I had part of, a, um, for lunch, the Uno's pizza, so I have a half of that left. So I'll probably eat that tonight and then make my chicken dumplings and then have that tomorrow for my mom's birthday. Normally I get stuff and donate it to the food bank. Um, and when I go to Walmart on Monday, I will buy some stuff. But um, I'm just so tired anyway, you know, I'm just so defeated. It's the only way I can describe it is I feel defeated. And, um, you know, trying so hard and it just felt like nothing. I could not move forward, but I'm trying to just lean into it and let that be, let that go, not, not hang on to it. You can lean into something and let it go. But, um, yeah, I want, I don't know what I want. I just want to feel good and have my brain work. That's the truth. The rest is gravy. So yeah. And I want to be a little bit more social and, you know, connect with people more. I feel like I've isolated myself a little bit. I mean, I work with people all day. So in that sense, it's not like that. But in a social kind of way. But I also want to do art. I want to declutter. I want to, you know, got my YouTube. I mean, it's just a lot going on. It's a lot of balls in the air. But when my normal part of my life, like I know how to do laundry, get it put away. I know how to do dishes. I know how to keep things. You know, sometimes I have to do just like a thing, but... Was a constant every day. It takes up most of my energy. So I'm looking forward to that. So I know Monday I'll be tired because I have two days of working and we're very short staffed. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> so let's think of some pumpkin stuff. Like, what do I want to try for y'all? Y'all, that pumpkin mush crap over there, overnight oats that apparently you can eat any time of the day, not from midnight to five. But, um, that is yucky. I could not go back and eat it. Oh, God, no, no, no. Um, but my chia seeds right now, I took the, um, non-oak beverage with pumpkin in it and put it in that. I must not have stirred it super well because it's clumpy. Not that, I mean, it's okay. I'll eat the clumps, but, um, I don't know, y'all. Is there, it's, I mean, I thought I stirred it, but I could have not done it a good job, right? Just boom, 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 and go. But, um, so I need some more ideas for that. The only, I got it, I got an apple to eat, but I'm going to go, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to go buy Trader Joe's tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Um, cause I want to get some apples and y'all reaching out to me about the harvest apple salad. It was not there last time I checked, but a lot more of you saying they've got it. So I'm definitely want to go grab some of that, some apples. Um, there's a couple new things I think I want to try, but I got the little Wicked candy bars, but I put them in the freezer. So we're gonna try those too. There's four different ones <coughs> and see what we, what I think of them. But see, I'm not a big Snickers person or Milky Way or that kind of person, but we'll see. My mom loved those kind of things, but y'all, I miss my mom, I do. You know, and she, 
In some ways, we're really good partners. There's so much more I have to do now that she did. So, yeah. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going to head in. And what did I say I was going to do? That coffee pot. I'm getting that set up. Put away all the stuff I have for making coffee paper. And, um... Yeah, just kind of futz around and get my chicken and dumplings made, watch a DVD about art, which is exciting, and then get into bed early. I've kind of been catching this late wave and not going to bed till like 12 or 1. It's, that's, that is so unhealthy for me. Um, so I really want to try to settle down and be in bed, like, reading at 8, 8, 8.30, you know, which seems reasonable. So, yeah, anyway, and the world's gone, you know, the world's crazy and horrible, and I watch nothing. I haven't even been, I've been posting on Instagram, <coughs> and I have scrolled a little bit, but I'm not even going to scroll anymore, because it's just, things come up. I cannot, I cannot tolerate it. I can't. But you know what? It just feels like the world is off. You know, my friend and I were talking about that. It just seems like things are just off. So, of course, having a brain that's off is not helpful, but, um, yeah. You guys. So, I'm going to check online tomorrow and see if it's being processed. The woman, the assistant at this practice called to tell me she had done it. And, um, the doctor. So, we'll see. She's like, oh, hi. Oh, you got it approved. I mean... Are you trying to gaslight me? Like our conversation was you calling and doing it and letting me know that you've done it. N nothing. That was a week. Really? And you're going to act like that? I can't go there anymore. <laughs> nah. So, so I have my drugs. So I don't have to rush right away. But I guess I think what I'll do is just call my brother's doctor and make an appointment and talk to her. And see, he didn't know what her specialty was. I need to look her up. But I do want... She may even know someone that... I, I want someone who's good with brains. I really do. Um, I don't want a general doctor talk, dealing with my depression and my Adderall stuff. My my ADHD, my dyslexia, all that. I don't want to do that. I want someone who's specialized. So I'm going to look for that. And um, But yeah. But meanwhile, I've got all this gorgeous coffee paper. And um, my next step, I'm going to do a bunch of stenciling on them and I'm going to start working on a Halloween book or five at a one time. <laughs> Literally have five plans, but, uh, you know, different kinds. <coughs> so like this morning, what do I do? I sit down and start organizing on my Halloween paper better. That's all I do. My brain said, that's what you can do. You don't have to do all this other stuff. Forget it. Why do you have to do like, all this grown up stuff? I can have sanity, y'all sanity. Okay, well, thank you guys for hanging around and not like, you know, thinking, wow, we're gonna move on to somebody else. But um, but I know everyone watches a lot of people, but I do appreciate it a lot. And it's, um, you know, this is important to me. And it hasn't felt good not doing it, but it literally my brain hurt. And you know, I don't wanna, I know some of you don't care and you're here for me and I just don't want to have, you know, it be about that all the time. And it felt like that's what I was moving into. And, um, yeah. So, but anyway, I have to show you all my sunflower. Let me see. What's my sunflowers? Hold on. Look how pretty they are. Aren't they pretty? I'm not sure why the one is going towards the thing, but I need to do some of the heads off. Anyway, guys. I am out of here. Peace for everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.